Are you looking to join an IBEW apprenticeship? Then you probably know that you need to tackle their apprenticeship aptitude test. Hi, I'm Matt from Ultimate Electrician's Guide. Today, we're diving deep into the IBEW aptitude test, the first major hurdle every aspiring electrician needs to clear to join an IBEW apprenticeship. This test may be known by several names, IBEW, JATC, NJATC, or the ETA aptitude test. But no matter what you call it, its purpose remains the same, to identify candidates who possess the skills necessary to succeed, not only in the apprenticeship, but in the electrical trade as a whole. The IBEW aptitude test is divided into two main sections, algebra and functions and reading comprehension. Starting with the algebra and functions section, this part of the exam challenges you with 33 questions covering complex polynomials, quadratics, linear functions, manipulating fractions, and evaluating functions in conditional statements. You have only 46 minutes to complete this section, which means speed and accuracy are essential. The key here is to have a thorough understanding of algebraic concepts to navigate through these problems efficiently. Most people who fail this exam will cite the strict time limit as the reason. Now, after you've tackled the math, you'll get a short break about 15 to 30 minutes to reset and prepare for the second half of the test. The second half of the test is the reading comprehension section, where you'll encounter various passages pulled from books or speeches or even articles on a variety of topics. Following each passage, you'll need to answer questions designed to assess your ability to understand, analyze, and infer information. This section includes 36 questions and you'll have 51 minutes, testing not just what you comprehend, but how effectively you can think critically about written information. Both sections are formatted in multiple choice, which might seem straightforward, but still requires keen attention to detail to choose the correct answers. If you're looking to learn more about what is on the exam and get some practice under real exam conditions, I've got just the thing for you. Check out the link in the description below for a 100% free, timed practice exam that closely simulates the actual IBEW aptitude test. It's formatted exactly like the real exam and includes detailed explanations for each question. This practice will give you a clear idea of the types of questions to expect and help you gauge how prepared you currently are. Now, how is the aptitude test scored? This exam employs a STAY-9 scoring system, also known as Standard 9. This method scales scores on a 9-point scale, ranging from 1 to 9, with 5 being the average. The distribution of scores follows a normal distribution curve where most test takers score in the middle range, 4, 5, and 6. Each STAY-9 corresponds to a percentile rank. For instance, a score of 5 places you in the 40th to 60th percentile, meaning you've outperformed 40 to 60% of test takers. Scores of 1 to 3 indicate below average performance. Scores of 4 to 6 are considered average, and scores of 7 to 9 suggest above average performance. We recommend aiming for at least an 8 out of 9, placing you in the top 10% of test takers to solidify your chances of entering the apprenticeship program. Most locals will require a minimum score of 5 to progress to the next interview stage. Remember, both your test and interview scores are combined to determine your final ranking, which dictates if and when you'll be hired. Now, how should you prepare to achieve such a high score? Mastery of fundamentals is the key. It's not enough to just understand how to solve the algebra problems. You need to be able to solve them quickly and accurately. This level of proficiency comes with practice. That's why I highly recommend dedicating a few hours each day to practice tests like the one linked in the description below and drilling these types of problems on a regular basis. If you have a few weeks before your scheduled exam, set up a structured study schedule. Commit to locking yourself away or heading to a quiet coffee shop for a few hours a few days a week. It might sound annoying, but this commitment is a small price to pay to kickstart your new career. The night before your exam, make sure to get plenty of sleep, at least eight hours, and eat a hearty, healthy breakfast that won't leave you crashing midway through your test. As we wrap up, don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights and guidance. And before you go, if you're looking for more in-depth help, consider enrolling in our IBEW Aptitude Test Prep course. 
We cover everything from algebra to reading comprehension and include multiple full-length timed exams and dozens of practice quizzes with detailed explanations. We're so confident in our course that if you take it and don't ace the exam, we'll refund 100% of your order. Plus, we offer a comprehensive course to help you prepare for the interview that follows the exam. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.